it is a great day for Missouri, and it is a great day for Kansas City, and it is a great day for the people that helped make this happen and our employees in this company. So with that, it's my honor to introduce you to Senator McCaskill. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. There are many things to be proud about uh, today. One, that this is new technology. Second, we have a great workforce here in Kansas City, and you all have made this happen through your hard work. I think one of the things that is most important about this is that this was a merit process, and there was great competition for these monies from all over the country. Uh, other companies like this that are stretching and pushing, trying to get to that new technology that can change the way we view transportation in this country and the production of energy in this country. But what I also like about this is that this is a private-public partnership, that there has to be a 100% match for this money. And Smith has put up some of those funds, but so have private companies that see this as a win-win for their companies. Frito-Lay, Pepsi, AT&T, there's a long list, Staples, the various companies that want to see this company succeed because they see value in it for their business, which means further economic growth and obviously a more vibrant economy, which is what this is all about. Jobs, 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 jobs. So congratulations to this great all-American company. Congratulations to the workforce. And congratulations to those companies who have been willing to invest in something that makes sense for our nation and certainly for this community. Thank you very much. Now, as we start to roll this demonstration program out to our customers in the coming months, we expect to add to the backlog of, of sales orders that we have. Given the commitment and the feedback that we have seen so far from our existing and potential customers, we remain confident in, the, uh, in how deep the market is in this area. Fleet managers and buyers that we've met and have met with so far are excited to finally have an all-electric vehicle to add to their fleet. I'd be remiss if I didn't also recognize those within the Department of Energy who also work very hard to make this grant possible. Uh, we're grateful for their efforts and also for the uh, affirmation that the DOE has given us in our long-term strategy to make commercial electric vehicles a reality here in the United States. Well, I think it, they could. Um, it's a natural for things like the post office. I'm talking to small businessmen all over the state, but I, I think the, the problem is it's just too hard. This is really at the baby stage, uh, but this this investment is really important, and it's exactly what the stimulus was supposed to do.